Hello, my name is Chris. I'll be presenting Chapter 7, beginning with slide 1. This lecture will help you understand energy, work, power, mechanical energy, potential and kinetic, work energy theorem, conservation of energy, machines, efficiency, recycled energy, energy for life, and sources of energy. A combination of energy and matter make up the universe. Energy is the mover of substances, both a thing and a process. We observe the energy in things only when it is being transferred or being transformed. It's a conserved quantity. Energy is the property of a system that enables it to do work. Energy is anything that can be turned into heat, for example, electromagnetic waves from the sun. Matter is substance we can see, smell, and feel. It occupies space. Work involves force and a distance. Work is force times distance. In equation form, W equals FD. Work is force times distance. Two things occur whenever work is done. An application of a force and movement of something by that force. If you push against a stationary brick wall for several minutes, you do no work at all because the wall is not moving. Examples of work. Twice as much work is done in lifting two loads two stories high versus lifting one load the same vertical distance. The reason force needed to lift twice the load is twice as much. Twice as much work is done in lifting a load two stories instead of one story. The reason the distance is twice as great. Another example of work. A weightlifter raising a barbell from the floor does work on the barbell. The unit of work is a newton meter, or a joule. Work is done lifting a barbell. How much work is done lifting a barbell that is twice as heavy the same distance? The answer is twice as much work. Another example. You do work when pushing a cart with a constant force. If you push the cart twice as far, then the work you do is twice as much. Power is the measure of how fast work is done. In equation form, power equals work done over the time interval. An example of power, a worker uses more power running up the stairs than climbing the stairs slowly. Twice the power of an engine can do twice the work of an engine in the same amount of time, or twice the work of one engine in half the time, or at the rate at which energy is changed from one form to another. The unit of power is the joule per second, called the watt after James Watt, developer of the steam engine. One joule per second equals one watt. One kilowatt is a thousand watts. A job can be done slowly or quickly. Both may require the same amount of work, but different amounts of power, depending on the time it takes. Mechanical energy is due to position or to motion, or both. There are two forms of mechanical energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is stored energy held in readiness with the potential for doing work. Example, a stretched bow has stored energy that can do work on an arrow. A stretched rubber band of a slingshot has stored energy and is capable of doing work. Gravitational potential energy is due to elevated position. For example, water in an elevated reservoir or the raised ram of a pile driver. Both have gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is equal to the force done in lifting it. The force required to move it upward times the vertical height. In equation form, potential energy equals mass times acceleration due to gravity times height, or mgh. Does a car hoisted for repairs in a service station have increased potential energy relative to the floor? Yes, because it has been hoisted a height with force. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It depends on half the mass of an object and the square of its speed. If object speed is doubled, kinetic energy is quadrupled. Must a car with momentum have kinetic energy? Yes, due to motion alone. Kinetic energy is equal to the work required to bring an object from rest to a certain speed, or the work the object can do while being brought to rest. In equation form, net force equals distance, net force times distance, excuse me, equals kinetic energy, or 
4 times distance equals 1 half mass times velocity squared. The work energy theorem states that gain or reduction of energy is the result of work. In equation form, work equals change in kinetic energy. Doubling the speed of an object requires 4 times the work. The work energy theorem applies to decreasing speed, reducing the speed of an object, or bringing it to a halt. In applying the brakes to slow moving car, work is done on it. The friction force is supplied by the brakes times the distance. The work done in bringing a moving car to a stop is the force of tire friction times stopping distance. If the initial speed of the car is doubled, the stopping distance is twice as much.